What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. We are coming off a terrible 0-2 day in the NBA. Um, lost both our uh, picks. We had a two-team parlay yesterday, and they both lost. So after the first one lost, that uh, yeah, you, Utah could have you know got blown out for all I care. Uh, but both of them lost, so uh, bad picks, bad night in the NBA. Uh, LeBron and AD sat, and Boston uh, still lost uh, by uh, nine points to a depleted Lakers team. So uh, Utah had plenty of chances to win that game against a Joelless uh, Sixers team. Didn't come through, lost 127 and 124 at the end. So they gave it a shot. They came back, tied it up everything because they were down most of the game and um yeah lost outright to uh to the Sixers team so next one yesterday they beat the Pacers Cavs beat the Grizzlies but we didn't have any action on those so uh on to today where I can't live in the past uh we have 10 total games not going over all of those we're going over maybe four and I might have a bet in one or two so talk it out uh, see what we get. Uh, first game up is the Clippers at the Pistons. Uh, Pistons are 12-point underdogs at home. Totals at 238. Uh, Clippers are in the middle of a seven-game East Coast road trip, um, Eastern Conference road trip. Um, got the Heat on deck next. And I just think this might be a uninspired spot for the Clippers. Um, spread so high, I could only lead the Pistons. They have the better against the spread record in their last 10 games. They're 8-2 and two in covering this, uh, covering the number. You know the number's always in double digits for the Pistons games. So I would lean that way, um, but I don't know if I'll get there. Clippers are completely healthy. Nobody on the injury report. Paul George was there yesterday. He's off now. Uh, but this is their first meeting this year, so uh, first time that you guys play each other in the season. I think this is the uh, best chance that the underdog has to uh, make some noise. So I would lean Pistons in that one. Uh, Heat and Wizards. Uh, Wizards are eight and a half point underdogs at home. Totals at 228. Um, I would lean to the under. Uh, both of these teams are playing under games as of late. Uh, Heat just broke a seven game losing streak. So I'm not sure if I want to jump on their side right now. Um, but I would lean under in that game. <clears throat> uh, Kings at the Pacers. Pacers three-point underdogs. Uh, I would lean to the Pacers. Um, Kings play a lot of games where they're either they either win or lose right around the number. Um, they're five and five or five, four, and one in their last ten games against the spread. It's very even. Uh, but the Pacers are five, three, and two. So they're kind of playing the same uh, same way. They did play in January. Um, Pacers won 126-121. Uh, this number is pretty high at 248. I would lean Pacers, lean under for this. Um, not sure if I'll get there on this. Uh, Pacers play at the much higher pace. Score um, 124 on average at home, where the Kings average 118 on the road. Um, so it comes down to uh, defense, who's going to get the stops and who's going to um, score uh, because they the books favor uh, the Kings on the road here by three points. So not sure if they'll be able to get the stops that they need, but I think this number is a little high for these two teams in their current state of play. Uh, Suns at Hawks. Uh, this is the game that I do like I do like the total over uh, 248. Both these teams, their their last games were very high scoring. Um, <clears throat> Suns just played Brooklyn, uh, 136 to 120, and you know Brooklyn's defense is uh, better than the Hawks defense, and the Hawks just had a run and gun type game with the Lakers, where they won 138 to 122. So. Uh, same Lakers team that just beat this Boston team with uh, different players, of course. So 
Um, I do like them to continue that uh, scoring. I think that the uh, Suns, in my, in my opinion, the Suns are the better team than the Hawks. But will they try to play down to their competition and will the Hawks take advantage of it? Uh, Suns have had a turnover issue. I think the, the Hawks just need to try to take advantage of that. So this is also their first meeting. So I would lean to the Hawks trying to keep it close in a up-tempo, fast-paced style game. Uh, but I'm definitely on the under or the over at 248.5. So uh, that's the uh, that's the official one. Uh, I'm leaning towards the Pistons plus the 12. Uh, leaning towards the under 228 in the Heat game. And uh, I like the Pacers against the Kings, uh, plus three, maybe the under in that game too. But the only one I've bet so far is the over 248 and a half with the Phoenix Suns against the Hawks. So lock those in. Let's get this money. We'll be back tomorrow for uh, more NBA talk. Thanks.